In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can crease and uncrease edges in a T-spline form. Fusion 360's T-splines are very convenient because you can do all kinds of modeling with them. Let's create a form by clicking on the purple box. I'll select a cube, and then I will draw a cube out. Then I will make sure that I have enough faces. Here I have six faces on each side, and I'll say OK. Then I'll go to Modify, Crease. For this first crease, I'm going to select all the top edges around the side of the box. And you'll notice that the form starts to change as I do this. It's putting a fold or a crease on the edge. Watch right on the corner here. See how that flattens out. It almost as if it's making it a hard edge corner. You can continue to move around and crease in between the vertexes. And then, as I go around, you'll notice that this is like semi-creased next to the actual crease lines. And then now, if I press OK, you'll notice that instead of being round on the bottom like this is, I have a nice creased form. Let's look at it without the lines so we can see it a little better. You can turn this on by pressing Alt-4 or Control-4. So now you can see that that line is nice and creased. If you want your lines to come back, press Control-6 or Alt-6. Let's see what happens if we crease something in the middle. So I can go Modify, Crease, and then I can crease these edges right in the middle. And as you can see, it starts to pinch and fold and crease those edges in. Let's say OK. And now let's turn off the line so we can see again. We don't notice anything here because they're still in the same plane. Because if I look in box mode, notice that everything is still the same, even though we get that curving. Now let's put our lines back and move these pieces out. So I'll select these pieces and then I'll just edit the form and move them out a bit. Let's go back to smooth mode and now we can see how that crease is working. If I were to pull out four pieces that were not creased, everything would be rounded. Whereas if I look at the creased form, everything is flat. Once again, pulling out the crease, things stay flat. Let's turn off the grid lines by pressing Control-4 or Alt-4. And here you can see in Fusion 360 the difference between creased edges and uncreased edges. We can also crease single edges. If I just wanted one of the sides of this to be creased, I can go Modify, Crease. And if I just want these two sides to be creased, I can do that. And then you'll see how that is creased right there. So this really takes effect on how the form and shadow goes on the object. If I go inspect and I do zebra analysis and I click this form, you can very clearly see how when we have our smoothing, the form and the zebra stripes go around but when we have a crease, it's a hard edge reflective surface that changes, especially up at the top here. You can really see how that doesn't flow into the top. And then down here, you can see where we did that little crease, how it disrupts the flow of the light scattering on the surface. So using zebra analysis is a great way to be able to see how your object surface is handling different modeling decisions you've made. So now that we've examined the form with the zebra analysis, we can also uncrease our different pieces. So we can go modify, uncrease, and then we can select different edges. So if I select these edges and I press OK, notice that now they are round. And if I go back to inspect zebra analysis, you'll see that those flow around, yet right to the side, everything is perfectly creased. Hopefully you can use creasing and uncreasing to control how the surface of your form looks when you're modeling with T-splines in Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling!